somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back over there's diamond dave damone this is the appleton oak that's the answer i'm mason quinn folks today we are taking a look at attack on titan this is ilsa's notebook memoirs of a scout regiment member a lot of you folks out there told us we need to check this out so that's what we're doing no idea what to expect obviously I haven't seen it so i'm definitely ready willing and able to get this a gander yeah this one came highly recommended uh i don't really know anything about it but that's kind of uh, par for the course for everything with attack on titan but when i say par for the course i'm sure i'm gonna love it just like i have everything that's come before this yeah looking forward to what we're gonna get into here let's go人類はウォールマリオン放棄。2割の人口と3分の1の領土を支配。しかし、全ての人類が巨人に屈したわけではない。巨人を倒す技と知識を身につけていた。開門、30秒前。総員出立し。逃げはどう一口乗らない。That's <笑> a red shirt. いつも通り退屈な男どもの退屈なことだよね。ああ、I really starting to like Erwin a little bit more, especially after we saw his badassery and yeah, end of season 2 there. Look. Yahoo. Must be on an Arabian horse. Oh. Oh. Kenny Omega! Oh. Yeah. Look at the original phone back! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Just for this. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> play it again, Dave. Let's <laughs> roll it back and <laughs> play it again. We'll come back at the end. Unbelievable. Wow. Just too much sinking to do with all this stuff. Oh my god, why did, why did I have to <laughs> say I Kenny Omega that one like time? That in a while. And then he had to catch back wow. onto it. I was curious when we saw the, like the, it leading up. I'm like, oh, yeah. what are we gonna get? Yeah. <laughs> I was actually like, what? Which intro are they gonna use? Uh, so excited, you folks! Have to excuse our excitement for the music. I bet not know. pay attention to what they're showing. <laughs> we yeah, we have no idea the lyrics, but yeah. the one thing we like adding is Kenny Omega, <clears throat> huge anime fan. So, gentlemen, at the end of this is journey we're gonna have to do like a ranking of our intro music oh, season one i don't even need to hear the rest <laughs> <laughs> there's no way it can be better i liked my symphony stuff that was yeah it's hard to <laughs> it's like trying to do better than Freebird. <laughs> play free bird play free bird 3.5 絶対に必要なんだ。最後に捕獲に成功したのは15年以上も前の話。でも犠牲を恐れていたら情報は得られない。工房重点的に捕獲作戦に兵を割くだけの余力はない。今日もここにたどり着くだけだ。ジーズ
Is that JD McDonough there? Uh, I think I think it might be McNugget. That's the answer! Riding donkey! <laughs> Trees! Uh, watch where you're going. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> this way, stupid. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be pissed. Yep. Like, what's her plan here? How is she gonna get him down? They're gonna use them uh, spears again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought that was like a lake or something. <laughs> oh, we'll see what. What the hell? That was a cool shot. <laughs> oh! Jesus! <laughs> Beating on his head like he just made starting defense. <laughs> <laughs> Place at the table. Uh oh. Oh. oh no. Oh, we're gonna lose him. Oh, no. oh, oh, Levi with the save. Of course, Levi with the save. And, and done. Bye bye. Toodles. Does you care? Hey, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. What's he doing? <laughs> oh, my God. 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 お前が巨人の基礎になりたいというなら、俺は止めん。だが、部下を危険にさらすな。巨人は排便しないよ。消化器官がないからね。あれは巨人の仕業でしょうか。だからなんだ。Did what? それを。イルゼラングナード。戦から。私の名はイルゼラングナ第34回壁外調査に参加。機関地。巨人に遭遇。北を目指し。走る。It <笑> 私は死をも恐れぬ人類の翼、調査兵団の一員。この神に今を知るし、今できることを全力でやる。私は。屈しない。おお、there's ゲモチュアレ。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。ミュー。
彼女の亡骸を樹木の裏に保管。当然のことながらいずれも人類の観測史上初の事例である。我々には、イルゼが最後の一滴まで、その命を振り絞って得たこれらの情報を次に繋げる責任があるはずだ。Oh, when she gets the,、uh, the glasses like that, it's serious. Kanojo ga shimi shita yona. Kyojin no shoutai o tsuki tomeru tame no doryoku o kanarazu ya keizoku sare na kereba nara nai. Itsu no hika kanarazu ya jinrui no hangeki no kate to naru mono de aru to. Daini bun daicho. Hanjitsu. 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 Hanj
making a very good and excellent point. So yeah, like just to see her mind at work, like as much as we love watching Armin do the same thing, those are the two brainiacs that you know that they're they're going a they're going a mile a minute when we're just sitting here going. Uh, maybe that could be no they've already thought 10 you know 10 steps ahead so yeah a great episode it was a lot of fun getting this and finding this notebook and then obviously at the end the parents getting the closure so to speak yeah this was an interesting one um went went, uh went in a different direction uh obviously telling uh the story of uh of how Hanji's trying to capture them and the rest of the group, and rightfully so, isn't all about it. I mean, look at uh, look at the risk that you're that you're going to um, for trying to capture one. But it was, I mean, obviously a, a complete bombshell having the Titan, as they said, get into a worshiping position and then and then be able to talk, and then after removing the head, it's kind of saving the body. So um, it's very. Uh, uh, a compelling story, but um, but it, I hate to keep saying it, just more questions. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. the Titan can talk, so, uh, you know, is it, as Answer had brought up, is it somebody who had a relationship with Ymir and now thinks that Anji is Ymir coming back? I think that's what was implied. Um, we'll see. But, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. They just keep up with, you know, it's a, it's an OVA, you know, something, you know, kind of outside the regular seasons, but that quality of writing is right there and a fun kind of compelling story with a few <laughs> moments of uh, levity. Hey, stupid, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know. and um, Quit talking like a bumpkin. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, giving that guy uh, a rough time. So I, th- I thought this was a lot of fun, um, a little bit of break from the usual with Attack on Titan, but, um, you know, kind of – just uh it's like it's like a bonus feature on a mm-hmm. dvd kind of yeah. you know yeah that i don't know if it made the cut maybe it did uh, but i'll reiterate it again I, I like how they keep reinforcing to us the audience that no matter when they leave that wall mm-hmm. somebody handfuls of people are usually lost mm-hmm. so Irwin's reasoning was you know totally understandable even levi uh, at that last line that he had in there when he was yelling at her, at Hanji, you know, that made a lot of sense. Yeah. You know, you're putting a lot of people at risk. Understandable. And I understand that she, you know, definitely just let me do it. That way no one gets hurt. But at the same time, it's kind of like, well, how was one yeah. person? Yeah, how's she going to do it by herself? Yeah, unless you, like, run them off a cliff <laughs> and hope for the best. I just didn't see how that was going to happen. With the capture, I thought at the end there where they show that, I thought that was a pretty unique device. I kind of want a little bit more on that just to make sure, like, I assume because they said there's no lo- uh, loss of life, that it works fine. But it does not look, at least on that shot, like it would hold up long term. Yeah, it's like a net that just shoots into yeah. the wall and holds and there's, it there. And again, there's nothing, at least on this shot, that looks wrong. But, uh, it, you know, over time, I imagine this works great at night because we all know the Titans aren't really worth a dime <laughs> at nighttime, right? So, uh, with the Ilsa's uh, journey here was a quick one for us, but still, it was actually pretty unique to see that she was just going to sit there until, you know, keep writing until uh, the Titan took off her head. And then she, it felt like she actually was going to be safe until she decided to go, you know, on that emotional burst, yeah. which was totally fine and totally get it, especially how her journey's been. And then she took off running and it was like, snap out of whatever the respect kneeling was there and bit the head off. I hope, and I don't mind if we keep getting questions out of these things, because again, I'm here for the journey and I'm loving it. Mm-hmm. I hope we do kind of get like a little bit more on the why on that one. I don't know if we will. Uh, if you do know, then... Definitely do not spoil it. <laughs> I mean, it's brand new behavior. Yeah, us, yeah that's so. it. for us. That's brand yeah. new behavior from uh, a Titan that looks like that, mm-hmm. and it could talk. Yeah. At first, I thought it was because of what we saw with Beast. I thought for sure it was getting called, mm-hmm. but now we see Ymir, and uh, yeah, with the Ymir thing, his mom too was. Yeah. Saying, well, know, that too, right? Oh, yeah. she's exactly. Saying, yeah. That's ah. a good point to bring up. Uh, she said so. Now that we too. know. That little bit. Mm-hmm. So I feel like this one, I know a lot of people are saying, you know, chronological or, or chronological order is what you should watch this one in. But I feel like 
some of the people that were right saying, hey, you could kind of watch this almost at any time. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm keeping that general because I can't remember exactly what they all said. But basically, they said, if you don't miss it, you're not really missing much. So either way, I'm glad we watched it. With uh, Ymir, though, I'm wondering if we ever will... Yeah, if they ever make that well, connection. You, it's interesting Get that. that you say about the chronological because I feel like if we watch this before oh, season, it totally depends when you watch. Told, yeah. if, but if we watch mm-hmm. this before season two, are we going to get everything that's going on with Ymir? Is, does that would this even no. make? Would yeah. that even or, make? Well, we had heard it say asking for Ymir, and, and be like, oh then, wait. And, and then well, what when is Ymir that? would have been introduced, on, we'd have been like, okay, what's oh, okay, Ymir? This yeah. is Ymir. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it almost felt like. I get it. Like if we watch it before, it's like Ymir, and then like if you know when Ymir, like oh yeah, now yeah, the, now that makes that's sense. why she's so important. Back. This uh, feels almost like a little bit of like, and I've brought this up before. It almost feels like a like a little bit of an origin story. Like oh okay, that's you know that's uh, that's the, that's what that was in reference to. Um, so I think this could have worked watching it either before or after. I got to be honest, I'm kind of. Like just because of how many questions keep getting thrown at us, I like had it come out. You know what, what's Ymir's involvement? How does this? You know what? How does this play into this? You know. So I feel like this. Um, I'm on team. Watch it after season. Yeah, <laughs> if I can, if I can clarify. I felt yeah. like this. This uh, was a little bit better suited for me, at least in in the uh, the the order of which we watched. If some people have nitpicks about the way we did the order, I mean, I guess I understand. But at the same time, all we did was flip flop. Mm-hmm. But I'm kind of glad too, and here's why: because now we know Ymir, so now this was more of a surprise, more of a which big was reveal. great. And then maybe we did get our answer right because this was. Supposed, I, I can't remember anymore. Maybe it was supposed to be before season two. Correct me if well, I'm it wrong. Lo- it, they said it was yeah. episode three point five. So does that mean it was literally follows the third episode of season one? Is that when this originally dropped? Because that's what it said. No, it, well, it said three point five. On remind it. me again, folks. But they over that four year stint of season one to season two, they did drop. A couple OVA, so it wasn't like a complete. Oh, talk about a teaser for yeah. yeah. It wasn't yeah, like no, a complete no. nothing yeah. happened because yeah. that's what I was but. wondering. Because if you watched episode one, episode two, episode three, and then all of a sudden you get this, you're like, "Whoa, what's this all about?" And then by the time you get introduced to Yamira, I wonder if you'd even remember what the Titan said, you know, in here because that's. Well, I'm sure along. a lot of people did. I bet if they had the ability, they probably watching over right. and over. But again, if they have the ability, I mean. Yeah, who knows? I mean, because that but was I, just my point of how different it hits depending on when you yeah, watch it. Yeah. You either get a mystery, like you were saying, Oak, that you hang on to for many episodes, and then you come to it, or you get sort of an answer, more questions, really, uh, about you, Ymir. So you already see that she's important then to them, right. and they're like, "Oh, by yeah. the way, uh, this this Titan was like, are you welcome, Ymir?" And you're like, "Oh." Oh yes! Oh yes, I am. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> should have. If they uh, ask if you're yes. God, you say yes. I am uh, Ymir. Ymir. <laughs> it's her. <laughs> well, and now I kind of want to go back to season two because I want to see if it was mentioned now. Yeah. Of like something we, we're just not remembering, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so there was that chance too, which I acknowledge. Um, that could be it. But not since there's only a limited amount of season two episodes, I'll probably go back and watch the uh, dub just so I can have just an on hearing in the background. In too, the background. Yeah. So, all right. Well, this was a this lot was a of fun. Oh, it's getting me psyched for season three. So for Diamond Dave Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. Oh, we're gonna get an intro first. Never mind. Oh well, yeah. All right. What's going on here? See all grown up? Whoa! Kind of time jump. Oh, come on. Oh! oh. Yeah, they're growing up here. It's got to pick up at some point. <laughs> Whoa! Is that Spike Spiegel? Whoa, who's... Remember, they give us, like, an inside look of what's coming. Yeah. Mm. Reminds me of an 80s power ballad. <laughs> this one might take some time to grow on me, because that... 
Yeah. But I, what we're getting into, I, I feel need, like it's a little slow. It's, it's big. It's heroic. I, I wanted more that energy did not feel and, heroic. And, and intensity. Ah. It felt emotional, maybe, was the <laughs> term. Emotional, <Maybe>. not heroic. <laughs> 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 <笑>巻きばりしてたの体から舐まってしまうからさっきなんて腹筋してたのピーポーウェアアーウィなんで僕らが新しい優秀だからじゃないですかバックに何入れたのパンのようなもんなんでブラドなんの騒ぎだ
あぶねえ。俺たちどうなってたんだああ、oh, they were coming for him. 中央から命令が出たらしい。調査兵団の壁外調査を全面凍結。Oh, they're on their own now. 憲兵団か。まるで犯罪者扱いじゃないか。What the hell? トロストクへエレンたちを移動させる。<笑>中央へ向かう方がやばいだろ。街中の方がいざって時に。こいつをつく。Oh, no. 一方的に狙われるのは不利だ。こっちも敵の顔くらいは確認する。私はエルヴィンの方に着く。他の者はアリバイに従ってくれ。ベルトルトが話していたことで思い出したことがあって。ああ、ナイス。おナイス。後で読ませてもらうよ。You know, there's a, there's a notebook about Ymir as well.A <笑> mention of Ymir in it. それ、期待型が違うからな。知り合いなんですか古いな。Oh, I got some firepower! Ah, what the... Is that it? No, I think that's a break for like information.、Yeah. Oh, well, we're at like 20 minutes. That's why I was like, just,、yeah. oh, we're nearing the end here. Deep breath. <laughs> I mean, that would have been a good spot to end it, but. Like I said, it does it once a year that、yep. he hands out all the rations. He's playing them. Mm hmm. Oh, he's so great. We got rations. Bye, Stayoda. Tansako Tsukimas. Yeah, are you going to eat? A lot of movement in the shadows here. Now, who the hell is this?、Uh, this guy. That's、oh. the king. King Fritz. Kyotkiro! Shuda! Oh, no. Oh, they snatched him up. You don't have a choice, you gotta use your gear. <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> that horse is sacred! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this piece of shit. <laughs>、uh, they better cut his head off.本当にエレンとクリスタで間違いないんだろうな。特徴は一致してます。Yes. Oh. Yeah, he's done. 見張りは、oh. Oh. 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 それと伝言も。Oh, they won't tell us the message. 道が混んでいる以外。何か妙だ。中央憲兵が使う手じゃない。切り裂きケニーを知ってるか。都の大量殺人鬼ですか。憲兵が100人以上も喉を刺す。Was Jack. Well, this is their reasoning of it. そいつはいる。すべて本当だ。ガキの頃。<笑> oh, wow. No, リバー。No way. No! He's done so! Him too? Oh! oh! He just right through his head! Yeah! Levi! Oh, it's good enough to go! Oh! Oh! Whoa, no! We got a whole crew! Oh, my mom, my God, to me, no! Kenny! Kenny! <laughs> well, what the hell? <laughs> what a banger. Might as well just keep adding to that speculation because it certainly builds.、Uh, you know, for a minute there when they showed Aaron, I was like, did we have a time jump going on here? He looks a little bit older. And、uh, I was、uh, slightly thrown off there with where we were picking up and, and kind of what was going on. But it seems things have picked up.、Uh, there's, I guess, what Levi would kind of consider spies internally trying to run a、uh, kind of opposition to what the Corps is doing. 
and they've got somebody on the inside pulling the strings, and now we see they've either hired uh, somebody from Levi's past, uh, Kenny, or is he the one actually behind it? Again, we've uh, opened this whole episode with a ton of questions about what's going on, what they're trying to do. I mean, what are they trying to do? Well, I mean, we can speculate what they're trying to do with Aaron in the beginning of the episode. It sounds like they're trying to figure out how to do the Titan diamond skin sort of thing. And it looks like Aaron wasn't having a ton of success. His, his Titan was looking weaker uh, from what we had seen previously. Levi even noted as much. And Aaron uh, wasn't all the way inside the Titan either. So some interesting stuff going on there. I mean, it, it almost seems like his, his Titan abilities are getting weaker, not better. Because when we left off on Season 2, it looked like Aaron was just going to be a world beater. He could tell the Titans what to do and they would listen. He, I mean, even beyond telling them, he could control them. We had the red eyes in all of them. And we've kind of skipped all of that in gone back to uh, trying to learn more about Aaron and trying to up his abilities. So uh, it's a crazy episode. We lost two more people right off, well, not right off the jump, towards the end of the episode. We lost two more people in a pretty graphic fashion. And Kenny's crew, instead of using swords, they use firearms of some kind, but they do still use the 3D maneuver gear, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, (laughs) You folks weren't wrong. Season three definitely kicks it up a notch, and this is only the first episode. Wow, so many, so many questions. Wow, just wow, what an ending. We have a whole new entire – like I didn't know who that person was, but apparently that was on our side. But my God, all of a sudden now like you're elaborating on the weapons. Yeah, this is like something entirely new what they have and yeah it does have like their own variation of 3d maneuvering equipment as well because it's attached to their pieces instead of to just their belt buckles type thing and and now we're gonna have the whole backstory of him and levi grew up together and just and then when you're talking about like yeah i thought it was like a time jump maybe of a couple of years or something they seem a little older but it maybe might, it's just the animation style it could have been tweaked uh, they could have slightly tweaked so maybe that i mean i'm assuming it's a few months uh since the end of last season but because correct us let us know too or yeah. correct us yep because i mean levi is still talking about his knees still not all the way there but like i i don't know if i make the cut <laughs> I'll take Levi at sixty percent. He's still going to be the best one you got, and uh, yeah, we're seeing that it, now. It's Aaron is still struggling, and it's the thing is though is like it's always been weird for him to turn into the Titan. Like he he's always had to change his, his different um, approaches to how he became the Titan. But then all of a sudden we saw he could control him. Yeah, and now we're rewatching the scene where oh my god, where Kenny takes it. like another person that we're hopefully gonna hopefully get a lot of that we're gonna get attached to. Gone. Why? <laughs> Out of here. Oh my god, so much. But yeah, a really, really good episode to, to get us sucked right back into season three. As only I knew they. W- uh, I mean, like I didn't think they would. I knew they would. So Nifa. Uh, so Nifa is yeah. R.I.P. Nifa. God. Uh, Ackerman. It's though. got the same last name as Mikasa, right? Uh, I wouldn't trust this guy. But <laughs> um, good, good you be. just rolled <laughs> 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 uh, no, More questions, right? More questions. It feels a little different. Ooh. And I, without, um, you know, without over speculating, but that's what we like to do here is make predictions. Uh, it feels like okay. Is this? Uh, By the way, Quinn did you were actually right for once on the on the name. So oh, yeah, the last what? name's right. Yeah, the last name's right. Yeah, you thought I, I was I'm wrong. Just... You didn't know that was Mikasa's last name. Right. Mikasa. Huh. Mikasa. Mikasa. <laughs> hey, I got the last name right. Guy calls himself <laughs> a the, fan. The, the only thing I'm gonna say though now is that we saw that it was Kenny's last name now instead of into the future when we could have found that out. So that might have been a spoiler to us. Just saying. Well, who knows? Was Kenny, and I'm just going to ask this real quick because we did watch the stories of Levi down in the in the underdark or whatever you want to call it. Was Kenny with him then? I don't recall. I, I don't recall we'll, that. We'll, we'll get those answers. Yeah, let us play. know. Anyway, sorry. Oh, <laughs> no, ahead. I was saying, um, you know, just posing more questions, of course. Um, some sketchy stuff going on within the walls with. Uh, 
we what we thought was the military police, mm-hmm. and then uh, looks like uh, it's somebody higher level. And I'm wondering if um, if we're going to get a shift for this season, where maybe there's less conflict with the Titans and more conflict like inside the walls. Mm-hmm. I and think it you're 100 right. kind of reminds me of this show. Um, you guys might be familiar with it. It's called The Walking Dead. <laughs> No. Where you have this outside antagonist, of course, the zombies, but so much of the meat and potatoes of the stories is how uh, the, the the human interactions play out. Power grabs, who's doing what to survive, who's doing sketchy stuff, who's trying to, you know, keep their morals at a at a at a high level, even in a in a messed up world. And I'm wondering if if that's the direction kind of that that this season is going to take us. Now, of course, we're one episode in. There could still be plenty of Titan action. But the fact that they're going like this in depth early on, now I feel like this is an additional story that needs to be told on top of parallel. everything else. A parallel, right? Not additional, parallel. Thank you. Um, parallel. It, but we also got them... Um, Doing running some tests on Aaron of all people, um, which he was not doing a very good job of changing into a Titan because uh, we saw his ass hanging out as uh, as was so <laughs> so comically said. Part uh, of his face, well, yeah, that was really kind of nasty when they were trying to pull him out, and his his, his uh, some of his Took face his was face off off. Some of it was missing, um, but I mean, a, a good way to kick off the season. I kind of like the vibe of the intro song it's different <laughs> i think maybe i like it because it feels like some sort of like 80s jam that's it and it's it's in english but um uh, it doesn't it's it's not action it doesn't get you hyped it uh no. but that's it's what, the I calm wonder before if, the storm i wonder if like that's kind of the 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 type of song that we get for the intro is indicative of what sort of story we're going to get all the drama and everything going on behind the walls and less action so Maybe It'll not less action, but more somber. Somber, yeah. Like, prepare to be, prepare to have your hearts broken <laughs> over and over. Yeah, well, King Fritz is up to something with that crew he had in his throne mm-hmm. room. Tell he was a scammer. <laughs> <laughs> this episode was probably one of their best in the show because, it, to me, we entered and it just stayed at high stakes the entire episode. There was no, like, you know, some episodes like to be written to take you on a roller coaster ride. This was not. This was. Hey, we're keeping you. We're keeping you at the top part. We're not letting you drop yet. Kind of mm-hmm. roller coaster, right? It was all high stakes. Loved it. Uh, Levi. I mean, again, I was not hating that we didn't get Levi in season. A lot of Levi in season two because it made sense because of his injury. Totally get it. But now we got like a lot of Levi in this one, which was great. And. We joke around like saying all oh, you know, nothing can bother uh, bother bother Levi, but we could see when he yep. gets uh, some emotions really rolling, it, it all comes out like Kenny right there at the end there. That was cool. Uh, of course, now losing two people like that, Ugh. that's not cool. And then that piece of shit that was doing that to Armin needs oh. to get his head chopped off. There's oh, no questions about he's it. He's already done. And so Better be done, Hopefully Mikasa just does her thing and dude's out. I'm going to pretend you're a Titan. Pretty much. Um, kind of like what you were saying, Dave. With Man, we're getting a lot. Like, there's a lot going on. So not only do we have to worry about Titans, but I love how they introduced the inner dwellings, so to speak, of internal... Sabotage. Strife. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I'm getting at. There's some kind of sabotage going on because people want Aaron and Krista now. Like, one, they're both kind of in two separate things, at least in my head. Maybe That may not be 100%. Maybe I'm just uh, missing some words to use for that. But I feel like Aaron, of course, is the Titan. They all know that. They want him gone, which is a dumb idea considering there's all these other Titans now that are just like Aaron. And better because they had time in and know how to work their Titan situation where Aaron is still flourishing in his in his Titan role. And then Krista has those inner, we don't even know, like we, we don't know what Krista really knows. Yeah. So maybe she doesn't really know too much. I'm wondering that too. I, and again, could be really wrong. 
You know us by now. We're throwing darts. Yeah. So I don't know how much she really well, knows, and maybe it's not a lot. She, she was so young at the time. That's like, what well, I'm what's saying. What's she going to know? Uh, yeah. And I kind of want to say, too, here, with Krista, this is a good reminder of events change people, and it happens in real life. Whatever the event may be. Here, it was Ymir. She was. She said that her old self is pretty much done, mm-hmm. and then she kind of... You know, kind of came around to Levi, and her and Levi had that, which I thought was a great moment moment between the two, considering what Levi or uh, Aaron has been through mm-hmm. and what she has been through. It's yeah. almost kind of similar, but just different paths of of life there that they kind of taken to get to that spot. So I pre- I thought I almost thought a relationship was kind of striking for, up there for half a second there. I thought there was something romantic yeah. going on. Yeah, for half it was for, the way they they. Animated they kinda, something there. They kind of danced that. a little bit. Maybe. I'm like, okay, Levi is just being, Love you know, uh, Aaron. Or God, I keep saying Levi. Aaron was just because he's a bad being super understanding with his situation to hers. So again, uh, wow, yeah. banger of an episode. Yeah. Great, we can't wait to see yeah, what's well, going to, going down on this one. And <laughs> speaking of Levi, what's the message that he was telling everybody? Hey, if something goes wrong, tell them. And then it cuts to the next scene. They did yeah. that twice. What's the message? Aaron, we'll right? Out. Aaron had something to say, and then yeah. cut, and then yeah. Levi. Oh, yeah. those. Whoever, I mean, this is just a banger. Yeah. First well, for, yeah, season opener, you want to come in hot with come it and, and set everybody to right just ask think. questions. The majority of you had to wait a week for the next uh, one. A week. Bless we you. Bless you week. for doing that because, wow, if we were watching this and had to wait a week not for the us. next one, nope. not I don't know if I'd have the patience. Uh, <laughs> like, way to rub salt in the wound. <laughs> <laughs> and we're oh, hold on. We're not done yet, folks. Oh, oh. Uh, We talked about it previously, so Patreon and YouTube members see it, but we are starting yeah. to write some predictions down. And we will update you as we go along on this journey now. See how good for they are. Some of our updates, see what happens. So, um, you got I have your, uh, you Kenny is a should, piece of shit as one of mine. We should uh, kind of. That's right so far. Let's talk it out on video so it's there. That way we can come back okay. too. So, Andrew, why don't you start off? Oh, quick? I just had that. Uh, We're not going to remember season like one. Dad, and two. Like, I think we all kind of agree with this, that dad is a beast. Um, but I also have that dad has a master plan experimented on Aaron. And then uh, Mikasa might know something about that. But Mikasa. Mikasa. And then also I have uh, the reason why the Titans die, essentially, and why they slice where they do in the neck, because that's where the human is. So if you kill the, kill the human in the Titan, they're both gone. That's why they're done. And then uh, my last one was Kenny is a piece of shit, and that's a new one. <laughs> <Kenny's> <laughs> a, that's just an observation. Oh, that's that's, not that's not my prediction. prediction. That's not a prediction. Hey, right that's now he seemed, he seemed pretty cool to answer. But he's going to turn into a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. See, that's yeah. a prediction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, again, I kind of echo uh, Answer's prediction here. I think uh, the Beast is Aaron's dad. Uh, again, could be wrong, could be right. Who knows? That's my prediction. I think the Titans, from what we're seeing here, I think they were originally made to be weapons against other humans, and I think it got out of control. That's my prediction there. Aaron will become leader of the Titans eventually. That might be season four. He'll become he'll become their tribal chief. And uh, I don't know if I I don't know if I want to go this far with this prediction, but I don't think Mikasa makes it through the series. I think she's done, and she dare jinx it. I think Kenny is her brother somehow. So shut your mouth about her. Yeah, if you're if you were here, we accidentally may have spoiled ourselves trying to look up the name that got taken out next yeah. to Levi on the roof. Yeah. Yeah. So Oops. we so. shall see. Well, uh, so this is why we don't search shit. So we, uh, I, I, I agree, you know, and, and I don't know that I would have pulled this, but time and Dave brought it up and then it was kind of like, Oh yeah, maybe it is. So, um, dad is, uh, uh, Sasquatch. Um, <laughs> I think he, fu- he found a way, to that's that's what's in the basement right the recipe how to turn humans into titans i think he you know experimented on aaron but aaron really didn't know that he could do it until you know you become distressed because he wasn't old enough to understand and maybe the dad wanted him to have that capability should he ever need it at some point but didn't talk to him with it and kind of my thing is like they're they're hinted uh time and time again about the corruption with inside the walls and i um i feel like 
my prediction is there's going to be a shift in how people look at the Titans. Like the Titans, they're they're they kind of go out and do their own thing, most of them, and 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 kind of want to be left alone. The the big ones, but they um, eat people. So but they uh, they're trying to end end the other people. You know. Whoa, to that, and maybe we already said it, but in my brain, when you're talking all out loud with that, what if this dude, the king, knows full well about the Titans? but then uses the Titans because they get overpopulated like a Thanos yeah. and then comes in the tags. Yeah, I mean, could have, you know, my, my only conflict with, you know, the Titans, you know, is that it still confuses me because when you see the Titans, you have the big, like, powerful ones that are, you know, uh, Annie and Berthold and, you know, and, of course, Aaron. Ah. And, uh, you know, those Annie. Titans are drastically different than the seven-meter kind of dopey yeah. class we see running around. <laughs> that don't look like they have any sort of direction or anything. So I'm confused as far as that. Maybe there are Titans that are just that Titans. And then there are the humans that turn into Titans that are something completely different and they can live among them and with protection and, you know, kind of avoid or just stay away completely from the human corruption that ended up happening. And um, so kind of like my thing is the walls – it's like a jail for the corrupt humanity, if you will. And outside the walls, that's the free world. And the Titans are the ones that are living free. And inside the walls are the people who are corrupt, who are morally void. And that's essentially a jail in where they should be. Not everybody, but whatever. That's like... Yeah, they're kind of just in a refrigerator yeah, waiting I'm to be I'm kind of just throwing <laughs> spitballs at the wall here, but I think we might get a shift as far as well, that's how we look at Titans yeah, and why... Yeah, the Titans are free, yet they're always trying to get in. They ate Aaron's mom. The Titans get no retribution no, from simply. me. They are the evil that they're need to be no. wiped out from the earth. <laughs> they're dunzies. So, so Beast as dad is, like I said, uh, towards season end of season two there. I think Aaron might die because there's been there's been some things being said from Aaron about sacrificing and everything like that especially uh Mikasa seeing some stuff too so I think that might have been a foreshadow hopefully I'm wrong uh Aaron and Mikasa they finally get a relationship started because at the end of season two there it looked like that was gonna be a full-blown thing at least in my eyes but we are not there so that's what I'm predicting too and I think the Titans, when we get more information, we're just a bad experiment. I'm still working on that one. That one is still a working yeah, session for me. Yeah. We're still working on it. We're still getting yeah. the test tubes. I ready. need some more. Uh, yeah. More. They were clues weapons thrown my way. And then the basement. I'm actually thinking we are going to get the full truth about everything Titan and in the walls. Uh, I don't know yet if there will be a cure, but I think the truth of everything is lying in that basement. Yeah, it's, it's interesting how this king is drastically different than the king we saw in season one and two. That guy was just kind of a goof, and yeah. this guy's definitely awesome. got some plans. He was so good at chess. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was a great way to start season three. I cannot wait to get on to more, just like you can't wait. So for Diamond Dave, Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. Oh, locked it. We've never seen Levi freaked out before. Or even that angry. Oh, yeah, wow. that's emotion. Dude, I love how they're doing this uh, like quick bits and then yeah. boom, intro. That's awesome. The animation definitely feels different this season. Seems way more advanced. Yeah, folks, did they? You know better than us, and I know some people are going to be like, we'll look it up on the computer, but folks, <laughs> we can't look up anything because anytime we look up something, it could be potential yeah, spoilers. spoilers. So let us know if. I'm not even listening to Diamond Dave. Yeah. I'm listening to the music. Let us know if, uh, you know, they had a budget increase for yeah. season three here because you're, Quinn, you're right. I think it, there's. Not that it was bad before. You could just tell there's improvements. Yeah, they definitely. Who is that? That looked like the dude that was on Beast that had the glasses and the blonde hair. That's what it looked like. Not yet, eh? You thought that was <laughs> King yet. Fritz? No, not King Fritz. Pain. 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 Uh, oh, Ooh. damn it. Oh! oh! 
Tranquilizer. Darted her. Oh, it does affect him. Yeah. Damn it. This punctured the skin of a rhino. Oh! oh! Right in the face! Just took over. Oh, oh shit. Levi's got this, one. though. Kenny. You and your Denazi Yats got Kimpenny. Oh, this is a whole different oh, ball game, dude. They got weapons. Yeah. Oh, he got he got hit. Probably an oblique shot. He'll be all right. Yeah. Oh, right into the bar. <laughs> what a badass <laughs> shot that was, a Levi. Yeah. This guy's voice is awesome. ケンペ様が悪党を殺しに来たぜ。ペン、ペン。なんで犬の会や。まだ生きてるとは思わなかったぜ。ガキには大人の事情なんてわかんねえもんさ。おめえはチビのだけで年は俺らはゴミ溜めの中で生きるしかなかった。世界はどうやら広いらしいと知った日は、そりゃ深く傷ついたもんだ。だがスクイは人生を豊かにしてくれるな。趣味だな。俺の部下の頭を吹っ飛
。以前のお前には戻れねえよ。新しい自分を受け入れろ。今ここにジャンはいないだろう。There we go. You did what you had to do. お前が引き金をすぐに引けたのは仲間が殺されそうになっていたからだ。お前が手を汚してくれたおかげで、俺たちは仲間を一人なくさずに済んだ。人に手を下すのが怖かったからです。次は必ず撃ちます。何が本当に正しいかな、俺は言ってない。<笑>お前は本当に間違っていたのか。そろそろあいつらの話を聞かないとな。待ってくれ俺は馬車の運送に使われている。No, okay. ただのいあなたとは会ったことがある。彼は町で、会長と呼ばれていました。リモリーブスだろ。俺はあのバカ息子はもちろん部下たちまで何らかの事故にあって死ぬだろう。紹介がなくなったら一体何人が冬を越せるだろう。俺たちはどうしてもエレンたちの行き先を知りたい。それで町と俺の部下が餓死するのを止められるってのか。そのために動くことだけは信用してもらっていい。Better than nothing. Yeah. エルビー大変だ事態が悪化した一つはエレンとヒストリアが拉致された私はすぐにリヴァイと合流して行き先を何としても探るつもりだユミルとベルトルトの会話を思い出したんだけどこれが事実だとすれば早く救出しないとエレンは食われる本当にリヴァイたちがいるのかなんとか解放されてきたんですここかあ、ah, welcome to our humble abode おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおエレンとヒストリアはどこだノーズ、ジェスサイドウェイズ。おしゃれ急ぐんだよ、こっちは。おお。心なしか兵長の時より、悲鳴が大きいですね。<笑>僕らはもう、犯罪者だよ。僕らを食べようとしてくるから殺すわけじゃない。考え方が違うから。僕らはもう。いい人じゃないよ。アーマンは本当に素晴らしい。ああ、私はもう、ネイルは、あんなにうまくなれるの ?Too many to count. 俺たち第一憲兵が、この汚い手で守ってきたんだよ。空を飛ぼうとしたバカな夫婦も、田舎の牧場にいた場合でも、それをお前らほど楽しそうに人を痛めつけるやつは見たことがねえ。王がいる。俺は。この壁の安泰と王を信じてる。俺をなぶり殺しにしてくれ。Oh, let's put a smile on your face. 休憩だ。おい、押すなよ。いてな。サネスの爪はもう残ってねえんだぞ。お前、この違いだ。オーダの平和だの、暑苦しいやつで、俺らは迷惑してたんだ。He's making sure he hears it. もう俺のゲロしたことで当たってんのに、抜かりねえな。なあ、俺のローには。<laughs> oh, yep. whole script! Yep, they're working them. I mean, I knew they were working him, but I didn't know they had a script. Yeah, exactly. Read, read this. Read this. What does he want to say? Go back to go most of this. This guy just peeing on the wall. Yeah,、uh, I don't think for long, though. Yeah, something's coming. Show me the machine yoga. Oh, oh,、uh, there was Kenny. 黙っててても奴は出てくるわかるんですか俺が育てたからな。リヴァイ・アクマン。Yeah, we're probably way off. Oh, it's a good thing he went to go take a piss. こいつだ。ヒストリア。今まで、すまなかった。Family wanted her back, huh? Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't lie. What an episode.、Oh, You're the biggest liar about. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what a banger. <laughs> what a banger. Dude, again, another episode where so much happened. <laughs> yep. You know, if the writers of The Fear of the Walking、oh, Dead could have taken、oh, some、yeah. notes. The writers. Yeah, I might have actually watched an episode. <laughs> Who knows where we'd be at in、yeah. the Walking Dead universe with Fear of the Walking Dead had they watched some of this. Oh, my God. I mean, why are all these animated shows just whipping ass? <laughs> <laughs> oh.
that's great. They, they got it figured out. Well, Look, the, this like, was a, just amazing. This was a really exceptional episode, and I think that. If you exceptional, if well, if you just look at it for all the action and everything that was happened, I, I think oh, wow. you would miss what was going on kind of beneath the surface. Look, it was not an easy thing for our crew here to take someone's life. That was a huge deal, and they made that a point in the episode that everything they were doing, like, look, good guys, bad guys, who's to say, you know, the fact that they're doing what they're doing, it shouldn't be lightly. And like, look, I know it's easy for us mm -hmm. to want to cheer on Levi and her team. Ah, cut their head off. Cut them in half. Use your sword, the uh, uh, 3D maneuver gear right through the head. That's awesome. And, you know, we're, we're cheering that on. Well, it was. <laughs> you know, we were all cheering that on. It's because it was cool. And that's our crew that we've kind of grown up with through these first couple of seasons. But I'm really glad that they took the time to let that story come out about it. Look, it was a big deal for all of them. Even Levi didn't know if it was truly the right thing to do. They were just doing it because they had to. And I just thought that was really important because they haven't had to fight other humans. They said that they were able to, to keep the military police kept peace for all these years. How did they do it? By taking out the, I'm going to use air quotes a lot here, I guess, the undesirables <laughs> that they had to uh, make disappear, and they gave a few examples of that. So it's a real interesting thing uh, that they dealt with, and the way that they did it, you know, you could look at it a number of different ways. Yes, they kept peace for all these, I guess, you know, 100 years, whatever it was, but the tactics that the way they did it, obviously not exactly the best, but... I really liked that the way they showed Armin. I liked how they had the hesitation in the wagon. I thought Jean was gone. Jean, I thought he was gone for good, uh, for sure, just because of how many people we've been losing. And the cutscenes they're yeah. doing in here, I'm sure you folks had to be as frustrated as we are with all these cutscenes. <laughs> they start to give you something cut. I mean, they've done that a number of times. So I'm wondering if that's going to be a theme going forward through this season. And, uh, if that, in fact, like became almost a meme of some sorts as you were watching this show, if it became a joke, like, hey, answer, you want to go in cut scenes cut to Diamond Dave? <laughs> no. uh, yeah, a lot of fun, though. A lot of fun. Yeah, I really wanted to elaborate, too, on the Gene, because like at first when you hear the, sh the, the piece going off, you're like, okay, and then you saw the blood splatter. Now, was that Gene's vision where the blood was on him that that was his mm -hmm. was that the other person's what was that and then we have the whole story like yeah she hesitated and so to me I was like oh did they possibly know each other before this because as we've seen in the intro it shows them from kids growing up to this point and so they are gonna I mean I'm, I'm sure they are at some point gonna have the backstory also of Levi and Kenny of growing up and how he taught him everything so like you're gonna have all of this playing out as well so you never know because now that it's humans it could be somebody you knew from years prior to to never have known i mean with titans you had no idea but then even when you did kind of know someone was a titan they somewhat would sometimes hesitate look at aaron he hesitated beating up annie because he knew annie so that's where it's an interesting aspect and like we we're wondering the whole time what was the message what was the message levi was saying he's like up oh, you, you might have to take out some humans as well and it's not titans just titans anymore and armin is just so smart you know and he you know how he's always 10 steps ahead that this was the first time he actually had a look at like wow like i actually had to get my hands dirty it wasn't just my brain using it doing everything for me like i actually used my hands and actually had to take a human life versus you know a titan which you know he he said perfectly he's like you know there's a Titans. This isn't trying to eat me. This is a fellow human. So, but yeah, really good episode. This, oh my God. I mean, it's season three start off really good. This is the second episode. It was just as good, if not better than the first. So I'm, you, I'm so looking forward to this. Yeah, this was a good episode. How about that ending where mm -hmm. we found out that it's the story of his dad? Um, so it's, it's interesting. We've seen, oh, I didn't even talk about that. Yeah. We've seen movies in film before where you have a, a wealthy parent or parents and the child wants to go off and do something crazy, and the parents who have the money send people out there to get them. Of course, we have our good friend, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, in uh, what I believe was his big Hollywood debut, The Rundown. That yeah. was kind of the story. You had a rich dad, hey, my kid's off doing whatever. Go get him, bring him back. 
And so it's not um, it's not an unfamiliar story. Uh, and if, uh, if the family's got enough money, they can hire some, you know, unfavorables to do the dirty work get for the them done. to get the job done. So um, they took a story that we've seen before in, in uh, film and TV and kind of brought it into existence here. But I mean, if you were a parent and knew, um, you know, knew your, your child was in that sort of situation, <laughs> you'd probably want them out of that situation too. get them home, get them get them protected especially with how corrupt things are in the city i mean one corrupt person doing corrupt stuff to get their child safe from other corruption basically but they really just added a, a whole new layer of depth to this show kind of with this added storyline you know as we had talked about the previous episode it's all been about the titans of course before we had you know the, the guard and the military police and some conflict there as far as who's in charge of what and who's better and who's doing what but now we have serious corruption behind the walls uh, uh i wasn't ready for torture to be really introduced you know and they went into it a little bit with they went into a little bit with uh with pastor nick in the first episode but now we see uh and now we see Hanji like just <laughs> like, oh, I'm an amateur at this, and it's like, oh, didn't geez. even ask me a question. <laughs> didn't even ask me a question. <laughs> the, Levi, no, oh yeah, <laughs> where's yeah. where's blah blah blah? Yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're like, he's screaming louder now than before. Yeah, you know him. when the other people did like didn't feel good about it. It's one of those things that you you do because you have to. Uh, our good friend Elvis Dumbledore once said, sometimes doing the right thing and the easy thing aren't the same thing. He said it a little bit more eloquently. Paraphrase. Paraphrasing. Paraphrasing. You get what I'm saying. Quotations. Um, but uh, yeah, so look, sometimes you need to get information and people aren't willing to give it to you and it's your friend's life is at stake. You could uh, do what you got to do. And apparently they turned his nose sideways and removed all his fingernails. Um, and with, uh, that, you know, seemed whatever. But then they did the old setup. The old... Oh. You know, everybody wants to be steadfast. You don't want to talk. But then when you find out the people who you thought you were teammates, that you thought were your buddies, they're, they're, uh, mm -hmm. they they ratted you out and they're talking. Then your whole demeanor changes. So they pulled a fast one on him. It'll be interesting to see how that, uh, how that transpires. So the good news is that I don't think we actually spoil ourselves considering on here, you know, we got yeah. Mikasa, Ymir. Ackerman, Ackerman, and Ackerman, and then... Didn't they? Kenny why Ackerman he, and Levi Kenny, Ackerman. Yeah, we got a lot of Ackermans. All Ackermans yeah, exactly. I don't know if we spoil ourselves. I'll, you guys, I'm sure, will tell us if we do or not They're on that. All but uh, connected. So far, you know, my one it's of my favorite parts. There's a lot of favorite moments in here. One of them was Armin, you know, coming to grips with the mm. decision that he made to take a life and how that affects him right now. And Levi is. Person, what I feel like is not wrong in anything. Not that he was trying to be anything else than just trying to help guide the the, the emotional feeling that Armin's going through. Armin has to go through these emotions. He has to feel those to only, uh, I guess you could say, harden himself a little bit for what's going to come now. Because, like Levi said in here, not only are we taking on Titans, we're going to be taking on humans now. So. Is this journey now is going to be real interesting because we, you, we've seen two seasons. You've seen them all, but uh, us, of a, our crew, the crew, trying to take out Titans, not humans. They're, now there's a human element involved, which I kind of caught on a little bit, and it, I'm not even sure this is right, but I felt like Kenny was hired from an outside source, which we got that reveal. I don't think it was really too much for the government i think government is working with reese right mm. and then i think the government said let's go get this basically like joker wild card joker and let's see what happens i think that dynamic is going to get real shifty as as time goes on because Le uh, we've heard kenny say i grew i brought levi up so they know each other mm. probably to a t here it's basically probably going to come down to who's quicker on what decision is going to be made in that moment. Cause I don't see a team coming up from this because yeah. that was pretty like, I'm going to take you out the second I get to, yeah. even though Kenny right now is still kind of in, I'm in the cat and mouse mode kind of, kind of game, right? I'm just going to keep dicking with Levi until I really need to take him out. Well, on the surface, who knows if that's truly how he feels. Cause obviously there's got to be some emotional attachment there to keep 
Levi Realm. But we don't know the backstory, so maybe I'm really wrong on that. And who knows? But uh, the uh, of course the torture scenes were great because Hanji, <laughs> she, oh, she's a gem in this show. Yeah, love so her. I hope nothing happens to her. And then of course Levi with the. Uh, I mean, who tortures without asking questions? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're only, I think we're just still scratching the surface of what oh. Levi is capable of. And actually, this crew, I think we're going to see a lot more out of our crew now uh, when push come to shove, yep. which they I don't even think they had a full understanding of what they're capable of doing. So, uh, of course, Mikasa, cold-blooded, love it. Cold so blooded. I'm really looking forward to seeing what's next with this crew. Yeah. God damn, it's a good story. Yeah, well, <laughs> the thing that's interesting with with Kenny and his crew versus, I'll say, you know, Captain Levi's regiment or corps or whatever is that, you know, Levi and company are fighting for their friends. They're fighting for humanity. They're fighting for something they believe in. As far as I know, Kenny and company are just doing this for money. So they're never going to fight as long. They're never going to fight as hard and as be as dedicated to what they're into because it's just about money there's nothing else for them at least that we've seen so far that they're attached to so i don't think they stand a chance outside of their skills and weaponry being as impressive as it is mm -hmm. they're not going to outlast our crew so i think that's going to be interesting hopefully and i liked with armin that he had to learn the significance of what he was doing because as brilliant as he is to be a true general i guess out there in the field and to command orders and to tell people what to do you have to know firsthand what the risks are and what's involved and what that's like when the moment comes down so i think that's really good character development for armin mm. down the road maybe even by season four this has been so much fun just to win cannot wait for more so for diamond dave epton oak that's basically i'm of course the answer we'll catch you on the next one pals